Hi guys, welcome to Epsida. In the last one, uh, we tried to get all the posts from a particular user. And in this one, I'm going to show you something simpler. We are showing like 100 posts in the homepage itself. It may not be a proper thing to do. So we will paginate this. We will put some posts in the you know first page, some posts in the second, so that it, it will be easier to access. Uh, and it will not be overwhelming for somebody who comes to visit the site and sees 100 posts at once. So we'll try that. Uh, I'm gonna use this uh, this plugin, uh, Svelte Paginate. Uh, this has some directions to do it. First thing is we have to install. So I'll go here, I'll open a new terminal in my uh, files and then I'm gonna run that. Okay, so now it is installed. Um, let me go to the home page. Here we'll have to import this as in the directions. Okay, I'll get all this actually. Maybe I'll move this up. Uh, now I'll have to uh, put items as posts here. Uh, this is an array, so nothing to worry. Current page, page size is four. So when you say page size is four, uh, maybe four items in a page, and then uh, paginate rise means for paginate. Okay. So this is what we are gonna use here, right? And then all right and then we have to use the navigation light navigation here maybe you can just do the pagination but let's i think light is some kind of styled pagination anyway so let's see what happens uh export default paginate but it's not there it's added as a dev dependency okay so let me add it as a dependency. Okay, yeah, I've added it as a dependency. Should that be fine? Yes, yes, I got it. Now uh, you see that there is this, you know, uh, navigation that has come so which I can go through uh, there are 25 pages and it is clear created a light theme for me as well uh, which is good I can also use uh, something like uh, just page now I know uh, I think I'll have to import that as well and it will you know uh, show me unstyled ones I can uh, style it but well, for me in this case light navigation is kind of okay so I can also have uh, the posts to have a margin bottom of uh, 30 pixels so that pagination stays below and I can use that to navigate um, another thing is maybe uh, we can uh, try to reverse it so the last one should come first. So let me see if I can do that. So items equal posts. I think there is this reverse function which at num and if you go to 25, yes, it has been reversed. Uh, I'll just show you how it is. Um, now 80 nm um, at nm is like the first one. If I remove that, and refresh maybe now is unt this this thing comes first and if I go to the last one at nam is there and if I have reverse uh, that will be reversed and uh, yeah this works if I go to the last is unt anyway now yes so previous next all these things works uh, this is how you can uh, have a you know pagination if you want uh, I I will like to like you know remove this for now and have the previous uh, setup 
uh, that is because you know I wouldn't uh, I, I want to implement a search I can implement along with this uh, but it's better if I show it without the pagination that way you can understand it better okay now again we have 100 posts uh, let's imagine you want to reverse this here uh, this one should go last because this is the first post right we can like uh, make another variable assign it and reverse it as I showed before or you can do it is here as well I think uh, this is possible let's see yeah that's it I mean if you use this here this will be reversed anyway let me show you how we can use search first thing is after post I'll have an input a simple one text input with the placeholder search that should be enough margin uh, 30 pix 0 now this way you know top and bottom will have margin um, now what I want is a search term which I can bind to let search Done. equals I'll uh, make it empty for now here what I will do bind value if you don't know this uh, binding uh, you can watch my previous videos search term okay now what happens whatever I enter here will be assigned to search term so that I can uh, I can reactively console log those. So is search term. Okay. Now if I look at the console, so whatever I enter is being reflected here. So this is important because when I enter something, I want to you know uh, get the post as soon as I start typing, not like you no know, I type and then submit so yeah removing this now this is there now based on this search term we have to filter posts now that would be constant searched or something searched posts equals all okay posts dot filter now filter will give me another array and uh, here we can have uh, post individual posts where return those where post dot title dot we sometime have to like you know um, make them into smaller case in this case all these are smaller case if not you have to use something like two lower case and then uh, use this for now I'm gonna omit that because the content and uh, the body of the post is already in smaller case dot uh, includes search term if search term is there then return search post now I'll console log this reactively come on searched post so we have to see whether we get a you know smaller array for this for now it's I'm getting 100 if I type like SUNT, do I get something? Not getting anything. Just posts dot filter post. Okay, I can make this reactive as well. It might be running one time. Okay. At yeah, so I got fifty now. Uh, let me paste this here itself. Okay, I got seven. Now I can use this. I don't need the console. I can use search post instead of this so that initially it will be it will be showing all the hundred of them because search term is like uh, empty string, right? Now once I start typing, uh, let me type quasi or something quasi okay now all the uh, items that have quasi in their title uh, will show up right um, 
so that that's how we can use this input filter and uh, you can also use uh, the body so use the content of the body so that you can do it with uh, an R function or something for start body that includes uh, search term I would do this uh, but uh, let me know if there is any other uh, better way to do this Reprehendrit. get that yes yeah, even if it is in the body um, it's actually uh, getting that right so here I don't see it but if I go here I might see that yeah so it's there somewhere so this is how you can use a search filter which searches through uh, the title or the you know body and uh, you will have to handle sometimes you know uh, it might not find anything so in that case it shows an empty space right so we can handle that as well with an if condition uh, so something like if search post uh, show this uh, else and end the if Uh, no uh, post found with uh, search term I'll have it in uh, quotes now if I type uh, it should have shown no post found with search term why it isn't showing so initially it is uh, it is 100 so search post will always be. what happens when i type something so let me console it it's a, it's an empty array i think search post let me type something okay empty array uh, if i have dot length i think that should give me zero right yeah, now it is coming. Let's use that um, instead of this. We're using dot length. If you know there is any array length, then uh, show this. Otherwise, um, show this thing. No post found with this term. Right. Uh, so that's it, guys. I think uh, I have shown you two things here. One is pagination, uh, putting posts into different pages. Another thing is, you know, uh, searching through the posts. So yeah, that's it for this one. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.